I was so hurt when I found out Larry the Cable Guy was not really like that in real life, man. I thought like Larry the Cable Guy just, you just, he just threw deer on the back of his truck. What's going on YouTube? This is your boy Broadband and I'm back again with another banger man check this out y'all today we got another comedy video and this one has actually been a request from my boy big holla 100k holla holla at crazy he was like yo i saw you do a george carlin video yesterday so you might as well just go ahead and do a bo burnham video he's like nah man you gotta react to some bo burnham this dude is hilarious right so I'm here today for Bo Burnham's country song, and that's what you guys are here for too. But before we get into the video, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on the notifications, all right? But that's neither here nor there. I'm excited to get into the video. I know you guys are too, so without further ado, let's get into the video, man. I always wanna say music, man. I gotta stop that. Any big fans of country music out there? Yeah. Shout out to George Strait. Oh, some people extending my name. Boo, that's also approval. I, I think, I think <laughs> country music gets a bad rep. You know, why is it that when Bruce Springsteen sings about a fucking turnpike, it is art, and then when someone sings about a horse, it's dumb inherently? I don't think, Facts. I think some of the greatest songwriters of all time are country artists, Dolly Parton, Willie Nelson, you know? And if you're writing George honestly, Strait. that is art, and I would never bash that. Um, the problem is, with a lot of modern country music, what, what is called stadium country music, the sort of Keith Urban brand of country music, is that it is not honest. It is the exact opposite of honest. Where well, instead of people actually telling their stories, you got a bunch of millionaire metrosexuals who've never done a hard day's work in their lives, but <laughs> they figured out the words and the phrases they can use to pander to their audience and they wow. miss the... Listen, he might have a point on that. I was so hurt when I found out Larry the Cable Guy was not really like that in real life, man. I thought like Larry the Cable Guy just, you just, he just threw deer on the back of his truck. Just, just threw deer on the back of his truck, truck made his own jerky, all types of shit like that, man. He's more of a multi-millionaire comedic character, you know what I'm saying? Like, they don't, they don't make him like that no more. Speak on it, Bo. Stories. You got a bunch of millionaire metrosexuals who've never done a hard day's work in their lives, but they figured out the words and the phrases they can use to pander to their audience, and they list the same words and phrases off sort of Mad Lib style in every song, raking in millions of dollars from actual working class people. Wow. You know the words, you know the phrases, phrases like a dirt road, a cold beer, a blue jeans, a red pickup. <laughs> Simple adjective. Uh, <laughs> Listen, I'm from Georgia. I'm from the South, so I can definitely resonate with a lot of this. Like he's the way he started off. I was like, okay, he dropping bars. He dropping bars. I was like, man, I, I was feeling it just because this is what I'm used to. Phrases, phrases like a dirt road, a cold, cold beer, beer, a blue jeans, a red pickup. Simple adjective. Better sing it. No shoes, no shirt, no shoes. You didn't hear that. <laughs> sort of a mental typo. I walk and talk like a field hand, but the boots I'm wearing cost three grand. Wow. I songs about riding tractors from the comfort of a private jet. I could sing. <laughs> Yo, that is crazy. But at the same time, I feel like rappers do this too. Rappers be like, yeah, man, I'm really in the streets. I'm really in the field. I can get you touched. You know, I'm really a gangster. But meanwhile, they are happily married, <laughs> uh, tax paying citizens and have been that way for 10 plus years, man. These rappers be capped. And turns out these country artists be capped too. That's crazy. Somewhere it costs three grand. I write songs about rotten tractors from the comfort of a private jet. I could sing in Mandarin. You still know I'm pandering. Hunting deer, chasing trout. A Bud Light with a logo facing out. Hear that <laughs> mandolin. That's textbook pandering. I own a private 
and cramps that I rarely use. I don't like dirt. One the house, <laughs> one chorus in the bag. Now it's time to talk to the ladies. I'm hoping my southern charm offsets all these rapey vibes I'm putting out. <laughs> Good girl in a straw hat with her arms out in a cornfield. That is a scarecrow. <laughs> I thought it was a human woman, sorry. A cold knife, a cold beer, a cold jean. Strike that last one. I'm wetting you, I hope you're failing me. Subtextual. We go to bed, you doze off. So I take your country girl clothes off. Uh oh. I put my hands on your body. It feels like hay, it's a fucking scarecrow again. I like <laughs> He <laughs> said, say the word, word truck, they jizz in their overalls. That is craziness. That's crazy, man. Accuracy in a lot of modern just music artists, whether they come from the country or the streets or wherever. Like, I'm not that familiar with country music, but I do know that a lot of the artists, like the, not to name any names, but you know, the most popular ones also have that home in Malibu. You know, they also have that they also have those vacations in Aspen, but they tell stories about the average hardworking American man that they don't even know. They don't even interact with on a day-to-day -day basis, man. It's definitely, definitely a juxtaposition. I think that's what it's called, right? Yeah, yeah. It's crazy, man. But ladies and gentlemen, that's been the video. If you like the video, please do, please do not hesitate to like, comment, share, and subscribe, all right? All right, and until next time, man, we got you. Boom.